Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are doing an island tour. I am so excited to share this island with y'all today. It is one of the most unique themes I have ever seen. Today's island features a lot of great neon item usage. We also have a really great highway build and of course lots of great villager inspo as well. This island just in general feels like the ultimate party city. I think y'all are gonna absolutely enjoy it today. And with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get the island tour started right here at the entry. This island was also created by carrot cake underscore ACNH on Instagram. I will have all of their socials linked in the video's description in case you want to go check them out. So like I said earlier, we're going to be starting the tour at the entry and something that just really caught my eye immediately was the shop placement. I actually have never seen anyone place their shops like this, kind of, you know, as the main entry build to their island. But I think this is such a wonderful idea because I personally struggle with just finding a good location for my shops. I feel like with any type of build, just getting those NPC buildings placed immediately kind of benefits you in the long run because then you have plenty of island space to really focus on your ideal builds. So this is just a wonderful idea and just really good placement. So if you're someone out there kind of just struggling on where to place your nooks cranny or maybe even your able store, maybe just getting them placed early like we're seeing on this island today would be some great inspo for your island. Today's island also has a lot of great filler ideas. So many of you are always asking me for like, you know, different builds that you can do in these really small locations on your map. And this island will definitely deliver on those. So I hope that today's island tour just in general brings you a lot of Animal Crossing inspo. Another thing I really appreciate about this island is how easy it is to navigate through it. They also used a base game path, as you can see on the map, to kind of like help guide us through the island, which I always appreciate when people do this. I keep wanting to do that on my city core islands, but I also keep forgetting to. But this is a really wonderful idea, especially if you are somebody kind of wanting to give your guests to your island an easier way to kind of like navigate through the whole entire build. So we are still near the entry of their island, but we're also right next to Plaza, and I love this placement of the rep's home. We have this really nice natural path and also just a really nice, you know, combination of different greenery, but as you can see, the island just has a really nice flow to it. And before we continue exploring the island, I just wanted to show y'all how insane this build is behind the plaza. Now, the island owner did mention that they created majority of this island on a spicy console. If you're not sure what that is, it's just a keyword we use on YouTube for modded but the island owner mentioned that this build can be seen better with the wide camera mod on and they definitely were not kidding as you can see we have so much item layering going on there's so many different like neon light items that I didn't even know existed but I can't imagine how long this island and just this whole entire build behind plaza took them to figure out and just you know combine all together like this is just one of the most incredible builds I have seen in a very long time so now we're back over to the left of plaza and we have this really gorgeous natural lookout. I really love that plank code. I have no idea if they created any of the designs on their island, but I'm sure they have shared it on their Instagram. Definitely if you're interested in any of the codes you're seeing today, make sure to visit the island owner's socials linked in the video's description. But yeah, I just love all the colors that we are seeing. I really appreciate the blue and purple and pink kind of combination they're already going for through this island. And I also just can't get over how vibrant and neon like this road design is. It definitely really captures that vapor wave aesthetic that they're trying to go for. I just can't get over how beautifully done this island theme is because I know that doing unique themes like we're seeing today is incredibly difficult on Animal Crossing. Even though we got the 2.0 update, we're still really limited on our items and just different, you know, themes we can create with them. So when you see islands like this today, it just really opens the door up for, you know, there is a lot of different possibilities still on the game, even though they have stopped, you know, putting updates into the game itself. I just really appreciate the thought process they put into their island just because I know that this theme probably was really difficult to kind of create. There's just so much detail already and we haven't even explored the rest of the island yet. But before we make our way towards the left side of the map, I'm gonna go ahead and go down this little pathway. And this is actually a really nice neon motel build. Now, if you're one of my regular followers, you know I'm a huge sucker for interactive builds. I also just really love motel builds in general. I feel like just having these type of builds on your island really just adds a different kind of experience for your DA visitors. Carrot Cake has just done an incredible job with this build. I just love the placement of it. I feel like having this build right 
right at the edge of the map where the beach is just really adds to the whole entire look itself it's just there's so much detail in this whole entire location and a lot of great items I feel like people forget about like the festival items I really don't see those being used but they work so well on an island theme like we're seeing today so once we leave the beach location we go up this incline and this is the interactive part of the motel build and this is one of my absolute favorite builds on their entire island the code usage here is absolutely stunning from all the purple and pink tones on their island I'm just in love with this pool design I've never seen this code before not to mention I have no idea if they even made this code but if they did I definitely need to use it on my future vaporwave theme but also I wanted to point out even if you're not doing a theme like this just the whole build layout is great inspo for any kind of city core theme so definitely keep that in mind as we tour today's island even if you're not doing a vaporwave styled island this is just a really nice layout for any standard city core I just really love that you can also see that road right in the background of the pool it just makes a really nice lookout for your visitors and just really nice you know perspectives in general so now that we've seen the motel build I'm gonna go ahead and make my way towards the left side of their map so we're gonna go ahead and go back up this little walkway here over towards where that bridge is it looks like they were able to use both of their river maps on their island map and that's something I hope to do on a future city island I just feel like using water on an island in general is really difficult especially when you're going for more structured themes like we're seeing today so that is definitely some great inspo just like I mentioned earlier this island has so many great ideas for many different city core themes I just really appreciate all the filler ideas they were able to provide on such an amazing island so this location on their map is actually one of my favorite spots just because I really appreciate all the thought and you know all the detail they were able to put into it we have this really nice you know parking lot and just like I've said in previous videos a parking lot build is just a really great way to fill up some really big empty spaces on your map especially when you're going for a more structured city core island like we're seeing today so I highly recommend if you are in that position you don't really know what to do in a certain location definitely make a small parking lot it doesn't even have to be for cars you could definitely use it for bicycles just all around a really good idea when you're struggling with certain locations on your map so I really love this location on their island too because we have a lot of like busy town vibes kind of going on we got this really nice diner build that we just saw but when we go back up towards the parking lot we are greeted by this amazing neon transition I just love all the colors over here but we also have this awesome arcade build up at the top of the road right here and I just really love this build because it's using so many underrated items I don't know about y'all but I have never used the Mario items on any of my islands just because I really don't know what to do with them and this build here is such a great idea for them not only do the Mario items suit this build incredibly well but it kind of just adds some extra illumination and kind of brings out the yellow road lines that we are seeing right now just like I mentioned earlier in this video I'm a huge sucker for interactive builds I just feel like they really do add a different experience on islands like we're seeing today if you're doing a city core theme I definitely recommend doing some sort Sort of an interactive build on your island it just not only fills up space but it really just does add a different experience when you have visitors on your island or you know just having friends over to play so once we leave the arcade and go back down towards the incline and make our way also to the left side of their map as you can see we're near the edge but I just wanted to show y'all how beautiful this transition is with all the different colors I just really appreciate details that we are seeing today it also looks like this location on their map leads up to the campsite but I just absolutely love the use of this confetti coat throughout the beach I just really think it adds to the party vibe that this island has we have this really cute little campsite over here at the rocks on their beach and then that path right here will lead up towards the campsite I just can't get over all the little details that we are seeing but also just like I mentioned earlier in the video this natural like path that we are seeing just suits this island theme so well and again everything just has a wonderful flow to it I feel like the beach with the campsite is the perfect location for it just because if you're like me the campsite is really incredibly difficult to make work on a city island so kind of like you know decorating your beaches and put in there I feel like that's such a great location for it and just all the details they really did put into this build itself so once we leave the beach area we're actually approaching where the start of the highway build is as you can see on the map this whole entire strip is their highway build so a really nice and unique layout than what we normally have seen I absolutely love the clusters of greenery we're seeing also the usage of all the moss items just really complements the color scheme 
team on their island really well. And in this location, I absolutely just loved it. I've never seen a build like this before, but it is a giant concert build and kind of like just like a music festival dedicated to their island. It's actually named after their island name. So this is just one of the most unique and personal builds I have seen on an island. This build has so many items I didn't even know existed. I also really appreciate the usage of the ice items. I feel like people never really use those, but they really do add such a great touch to an island theme like we're seeing today. And then I also thought this was so cool that they used the uh, New Year's arch kind of to like, you know, bring some balloons into their build. The blue tones really match the vibe that they're trying to go for, but reversing them and hiding that year just really was a clever idea. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that. And then once you get closer to the festival DJ area, as you can see, we have a lot of like neon signs going on. I'm not sure what these little floor lights are called, but I absolutely adore those. And then of course, once we leave this area, we are back at the highway. If you're one of my regular followers, you know I'm a huge sucker for a great highway build, and this one is absolutely beautiful. The waterscape on the bottom with the fence items customized with different, you know, ads is just really personal and well done. I just really love how unique this whole entire build is. And then we have like in the distance some different shops. Looks like over here we actually have a uh, colorful bar for flora. And once again, just all the colors and codes that they have been using throughout their island is just absolutely beautiful. I also really love this item here covering the we are open sign. I have no idea what this item is, but if you do, please let me know in the comments section because I absolutely adore it. So once we leave Flora's bar, we are greeted with this really nice little natural transition to their secret beach. And I just really love this code. Like I said earlier, I just feel like this natural code suits the colors that they are using on their island so well. And it looks like we also have this really cute little filler area with a hot tub. And then we also have this really nice code on that uh, curtain partition. And then I just really love that little detail of the villager home kind of placed on that upper level. There's just so much to mention to this build and I really appreciate it. So it looks like we're almost done touring this island and I'm really excited to check out this spot on their map because many of you are always asking me for like villager ideas on a city island. Carrot Cake has done such an incredible and beautiful job of you know decorating all these villager homes but I love how they have grouped them all together in this location. I just feel like sometimes you know finding areas for your villager homes can be really difficult on a city island. So this is a wonderful layout and idea if you're someone out there who kind of just needs all your villagers to get placed early so you can plan for larger builds just this whole entire layout is super well done and like I said earlier this whole entire build can work for other city core themes too so obviously if you're not doing a vaporwave theme this layout would be absolutely wonderful for maybe something more modern or even a Japanese island so definitely keep that in mind but as you can see they really did a wonderful job with decorating them to suit their island theme I also really appreciate the effort of giving each villager something on their a door. There's a lot of different wreath items that I honestly had no idea existed. So this is definitely encouraging me to start gifting my villagers items more often. So I'm pretty sure we have seen everything on this island. Just like I say on every single island tour on my channel, definitely check out the dream address and visit just in case if I did miss any of the locations. But I hope that today's island tour brought you so much Animal Crossing inspiration. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day.